Mexico is an interesting country for roller coasters. It's home to some true classics, as well as some amazing modern coasters. The country's long been on my list of places to visit, and thanks to some last-minute cheap flights, I found myself at short notice on board a plane bound for Mexico City. Whilst there, I'd planned to visit Six Flags Over Mexico, La Feria, and a small park called Cataplume. After that, I'd be making a brief stopover in Guadalajara to visit Selva Magico before returning home. After landing in Mexico City and checking into my hotel, I made the fairly simple subway journey to the first park, Cataplume. This brand new park only opened in November last year. It's built on top of a shopping mall called Las Antenas in the southern part of Mexico City. Now, whilst getting to the park was fairly simple, getting in and around it was slightly confusing. You had to buy a Cata card and load it up with pesos to pay for both entrance and for rides. But the really confusing thing was that all the rides seemed to have different price depending on the day of the week. And I'm not just talking about weekdays versus weekends. Every single day seemed to have a slightly different price. The LED signs outside of the rides also scrolled through the various prices rather than showing the price for that day, so it made calculating how many pesos you needed to put on your card quite confusing. Now the best coaster they have in the park is Insomnio, a Vacoma suspended family coaster. Whilst this is a standard model, what makes it unique is that after the first drop, it takes you out over the edge of the roof of the mall with a huge drop below you. Overall, it's a pretty fun ride, with some nice swooping sections, silky smoothness, and good pacing throughout. Also, the colour scheme really makes it stand out at night. There's also a fairly standard spinning wild mouse by SBF called Caras Locos, which I believe translates to crazy cars. Whilst there's nothing particularly remarkable about the ride, it fits in nicely at the park, and again, looks pretty good when lit up at night. Finally, to wrap up the trio of coasters, we have Choo Choo, a unique SBF monorail coaster. This gives a nice, slow, relaxing tour of the park, with three lift hills and a very gentle pace. Apart from coasters, there's a couple of flat rides too, including a well-lit up air race, a carousel, a mini star flyer, a frisbee type ride, and a motorbike-themed disco coaster. It also has the most honestly named gift shop that I've ever seen. Clearly proud of how much tat it had inside. Visiting Cataplume made for a nice start to my trip to Mexico. Whilst it lacked the big thrills of the other parks I was to visit, such as Six Flags Over Mexico, it was a pleasant way to spend an evening when I hadn't had anything else planned. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll see you again in another one very soon.